In this video, Eric, Sarah, and I are going to introduce what is Brownian motion. Let us start by considering the symmetric random walk, which, in each time unit, is equally likely to take a unit a step either to the left or to the right. That is, it is a Markov chain with one half probability to take a unit a step. Now, suppose that we speed up this process by taking a smaller and a smaller steps in a smaller and a smaller time intervals. If we now go to the limit in the right manner, what we obtain is Brownian motion. More precisely, suppose that each delta t time unit we take a step of size delta x either to the left or the right with equal probabilities. If we let x of t denote the position at time t, then we will have equation 1. Since the expectation of xi is equal to 0 and the variance of xi is equal to 1, we can see that the expectation of xt is equal to 0 and the variance of xt is equal to delta x squared times t over delta t. We let delta x equal to sigma times square root of delta t for positive constant sigma as sigma t approaches to zero, we will have the expectation of xt equal to zero and the variance of xt equal to sigma squared times t. From the central limit theorem, the following property seems reasonable if we let delta x equal to sigma times square root of delta t and delta t approaches to zero. The first property is xt is normal with mean zero and variance sigma square t. In addition, because of the changes of value of the random walk in non-overlapping time intervals are independent. The second property is for x of tn minus x of tn minus 1 and x of tn minus 1 minus x tn minus 2 up to x t1 are independent because the uh, distribution of the change in position of the random walk over any time interval depends only on the length of that interval. The third property is since x of t4 t greater or equal to 0 has stationary increments in that the distribution of x of t plus s minus x of t does not depend on t. Thus, we are now ready for the formal definition of Brownian motion. A stochastic process x of t is said to be a Brownian motion process if the first x of 0 is 0, the second x of t for t greater than or equal to 0 has a stationary and independent increments, and the third is for every t greater than zero, x of t is normally distributed with mean zero and variance t sigma square. The Brownian motion process, sometimes called the Wiener process, is one of the most useful stochastic processes in applied probability theory. It originated in physics as a description of Brownian motion. This phenomenon, named after Robert Brown, who discovered it, is a motion exhibited by a small particle that is totally immersed in a liquid or gas. Since then, the process has been used beneficially in such areas as a statistical testing of goodness of feed, analyzing the price levels on the stock market, and quantum mechanics.